Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Hello, my dear students of grade 3 Al Manahij schools. Welcome to a new English lesson. Today we are studying Unit 12 Grammar in Conversation. So, first, I want you to open your pupil's book, page 121. Okay? Are you ready? Let's start. Okay, now I want you to listen and chant. Okay, so listen and read in your pupil's book. Okay, are you ready? Let's go. Pupil's book, Unit 12, page 121, Activity 1. Listen and chant. What's the date today? It's the 15th of June. When's the last day of term? It's on the 9th of July. When's the last day of exams? It's on the 22nd of June. When's the first day of exams? It's on the 16th of June. That's tomorrow. Yes, it is. I must study for my exams. Well, as we have listened, our lesson today is about dates. So we are going to study months and ordinal numbers. Okay. So let's start the months of the year okay the first month is january okay again repeat with me january okay so this is the first okay the first month we can write the word the first like this the first or we can write it like this number one and the two letters S T. Two letters S T are the last two letters of the word first. Okay, so January is the first month. Let's go to the second. It's February. Okay, again, February. This is the second month. We can write the word the second like this, the second, or we can write number two and the two letters N D, the last two letters of the word second. So February is the second month. Okay, let's go to the third. Here is March. Again, March. March is the third. Okay, the third. We can write it like this, or we can write in this way. We can write it like this, three or D. Okay, the last two letters of the word third are D. So here March is the third month. Next. April. Again, April. So here we have the four. You can write it like this or like this number four and T H and T each are the last two letters of the word fourth. Okay, so this is the fourth and this is the fourth. April is the fourth month. Next. Here we have May. 
again, may. We have the ordinal number, the fifth. The fifth. Okay, or we can write it in this way, number five and t each. The fifth. So, May is the fifth month. Okay, next. Here we have June. Again, June. This is the sixth. You can write it in this way, number six and the two letters T each. The sixth. We have a sentence here, June is the sixth month. Next. We have here July. Again, July. This is the month number seven. This is the month number seven. We have the seventh month. We can write it in this way, number seven and th, the seventh. July is the seventh month. Next. August. Again, August. Here we have the eighth. Okay, again, the eighth. Or we can write it like this number eight with T each. So, August is the eighth month. Next, September. Again, September. September is the ninth. We can write it as number nine and T each, the ninth. September is the ninth month. All right. Here we have October. Again, October. It's the tenth. We can write it as number 10 and T each, the 10th. So, October is the 10th month. Okay, now it's November. Again, November. It's the 11th. Again, we can write it like number 11 and T each, the 11th. So, November is the 11th month. The last month is December. Again, December. It's the 12th. Or we can write it like number 12 and T each, the 12th. So, December is the 12th month. And also it's the last. December is the last month. Okay, now let's study how to ask about dates. Okay. The first way, if you are asking about the date of today or tomorrow, we can say, what's the date today? This is the question. What's the date today? Okay, now, who can tell me what's the date today? Who can answer this question? Okay, well, 
it's the 14th of March. Also, we can write it like this. It's the 14th of March. Okay. If I ask it you, what's the date tomorrow? Who can answer this question? What's the date tomorrow? Yes, excellent. It's the 15th of March. Okay. Let's take another way of asking about dates. If we are asking about a certain date, for example, when is the first day of exams? Okay, again, when is the first day of exams? Okay, who can tell me the answer? Okay, it's on the 3rd of May. It's on the 3rd of May. Or we can write it in this way. It's on the 3rd of May. So this is the 3rd of, or we can write it like this, the 3rd of. Okay, let me give you another question. When's Eid al-Fitr this year? Okay, again, here is the word when's. When's is a short form of when is. Eid al-Fitr this year. Okay, how can we answer this question? Okay, well, we can say it's on the 24th of May, or we can write it like this it's on the 24th of May. Okay, now let's go back to our pupils books. Okay, now let's listen and read the conversation. So I want you to listen and read in your books. Let's go. Pupils book, unit 12, page 121, activity 2. Listen and read. What's the date today? It's the 15th of June. When's the last day of term? It's on the 9th of July. When's the last day of exams? It's on the 22nd of June. When's the first day of exams? They start on the 16th of June. That's tomorrow. Yes, it is. I must go and study for my exams. Well, as we have listened and read here, this boy is asking his friends some questions about dates. So, who can tell me how many questions did he ask? How many questions did he ask? Yes, great. He asked four questions. One, two, three, four. Okay. What is the first question about? Yes, it's about the date. Okay, today. What's the date today? The answer is, it's the 15th of June. Okay, what's the second question about? Yes, well, it's about the last day of term. All right, what's the third question about? Well done. It's about the last day of exams. And what's the fourth question about? Good. It's about the first day of exams. Okay, now let's open our workbooks. Well, open your workbook 
page 115. Again, page 115. Uh, this page is homework. This page is homework, question number one and two. Okay, let me tell you how to answer the questions. Let's start with number one. Here we have to read the months, then now write the month. You should read the question and write the correct month. For example, number one, what is the seventh month of the year? Okay, the seventh. So here you should come here, the first, the second, the third, the fourth, the fifth, the sixth, and the seventh. So here is the answer. Okay, July. So here we should write the month July. In question number two, read and match. Okay, you have to read the number and match it to the correct letter. For example, here, first, the first of June. It's match it to the first of June. It's the same, but it's written in a different way. It's the same date, but it's written in a different way. We have two ways to write the date. All right, now, my dear students of Al Manahji schools, we have come to the end of our lesson today. If you have any questions, you can send us on WhatsApp groups or on Telegram. Thanks for watching and have a nice time.